When it comes to butterfly migrations, the monarch is by far the best known and gets the most press. While the monarch migration is an awesome spectacle, they are not the only species of butterfly that migrates. In fact, in the eastern United States, there are 14 species that migrate. Some of them have large migrations that follow definite routes each spring and fall. Others act more as seasonal northward colonizers. They are all cool, and I'm going to briefly discuss each one of them. And I'm going to start off with a butterfly that's very easy to identify due to the large eye spots found on its wings. The common buckeye, Genonia coenia. This fast flying butterfly moves northward from the deep south in the spring and can be found over much of the eastern United States. In the fall, adults move southward and will overwinter in the deep south with a large population overwintering in Florida. Next we have the painted lady, Vanessa Cardui, which is the most widely distributed butterfly in the world and is found on every continent except for Australia and Antarctica. They are also the butterfly that has the record for the longest migration, over 7,500 miles round trip for the population that travels between tropical Africa and Southern Europe. In North America, the Painted Lady migrates from Northern Mexico each spring to colonize most of the United States and Canada, south of the Arctic Circle, and then returns to Mexico in the fall. They can fly in huge groups, and swarms of Painted Lady butterflies over 70 miles wide have been detected on radar. If you love butterflies, please pollinate that like button. Closely related to the Painted Lady is the American Lady, Vanessa virginiensis, although it seems to act more as a seasonal colonizer. The American Lady is resident in the southern United States, Mexico, and Central America. In the spring, they expand northward to colonize most of the eastern United States, the west coast, and even into Canada. One of the easiest migratory butterflies to see and identify is the cloudless sulfur Phoebus cinae. These large bright yellow butterflies are resident in South Texas, Florida, and Mexico and expand northward each spring. In the fall, large numbers head back south and are easy to spot with their bright colors and the male's fast direct flight. It is not unusual to see hundreds of them pass by in an hour when the migration is at its peak. An odd butterfly, the question mark, Polygonia interrogationis, is also a migrator. This butterfly is strange for a couple of reasons. First, it has a population that hibernates to overwinter and a population that migrates south to overwinter. The other odd thing about the question mark is that the adults prefer not to feed from flowers, but from tree sap, rotting fruit, carrion, and dung. If you would like to see a video dedicated to weird butterflies like the question mark, please comment below. Need some tips for attracting pollinators and butterflies to your yard? Check out our book, Attract Pollinators and Wildlife to Your Yard, 15 Free and Easy Ways. It's available directly from us. There is a link in the description. The fiery skipper, Hyphella phileus, is a small skipper that most people who have a pollinator garden in the eastern United States have seen. These fast flying skippers can be seen on a wide range of flowers, especially those in the Asteraceae family. This is a northward colonizer as it has a one-way northward migration in the spring. Looking similar to the fiery skipper and having the same type of spring and summer northward colonization is the sachem, Adelopodes campestris. This is one of the most common skippers by the late summer in many parts of the eastern United States. Another skipper, the darker colored clouded skipper, Larima axius, is a resident along the Gulf Coast, Florida, Texas, and further south into Central America. It expands northward in the spring like the fiery skipper, but some individuals migrate back south in the fall. The morning cloak, Nymphalis antiopa, is another butterfly that does not nectar at flowers, but prefers to feed on tree sap, especially that of oaks. They will also sometimes feed on rotting fruit. Like the question mark, there are two types of morning cloak butterflies, those that overwinter in the north and those that migrate south. The Red Admiral, Vanessa Atalanta, is a relative of the painted and American lady butterflies and is distributed widely across the world. They expand northward from the southern U.S. and Mexico in the spring, and there is a return migration in the fall. The Red Admirals most of us in the eastern United States see each summer are butterflies colonizing northward from the southern wintering grounds. The Red Admiral prefers to feed on tree sap, rotting fruit, and strangest of all, bird droppings. The Gulf Fritterly, Agrolis vanellae, is best known for its orange caterpillars that are covered with black spines that can be found on passion flower vines. This is mainly a subtropical and tropical butterfly that is a resident 
in the far southern United States and south to South America. In the spring, it will venture north and breed north of its main range. Gulf fritter leaves in the north migrate south in the fall and will overwinter in areas that do not receive winter frost. Not much bigger than a penny with its wings folded, the little yellow Pyrrhicidia lisa is a common butterfly that is resident from the deep south to Costa Rica. This fast flying butterfly has a springtime northward colonization that eventually encompasses most of eastern North America. They do not have a southern migration and are killed with the coming of freezing weather. A super cool skipper, the long-tailed skipper, or Banis proteus, is mainly found from South Texas and Florida, south into Mexico, and all the way into Argentina. In the summer, it will colonize northward to the Midwest and the New England states. In the fall, some long-tailed skippers in the northern expansion areas will migrate south to overwinter. Keep an eye out for this super cool little skipper in your summer pollinator gardens. The Ocala skipper, Panachina Ocala, is a small dark skipper with distinctive white arrowhead marks on its upper wings. Like the fiery skipper and the sachem, the Ocala skipper is mainly a northward colonizer and is a common sight in butterfly gardens in late summer and fall across the south and north to the Great Lakes. To see more about awesome butterflies, check out this video right here and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard. <laughs>